In a campaign that has lasted nearly two years, it's hard to believe that it's finally election night. One thing they do agree on, though, is that using cell phones could be very dangerous for children. Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson turned up his nose to the new car smell lingering over part of the $700 billion bailout. And while at this point it is impossible to know whether a more traditional approach or the online route is the better way to go. Although spring training is all about getting ready for the regular season, what most fans don't realize is that there's plenty of downtime in between games for the players. And here's a warning to all you lead-footed drivers out there, and that includes me, slow down or be ready to pay a hefty fine. You had one of the longest campaigns in history, and in just a matter of hours, a matter of minutes it seemed like, it was all over. The war in Iraq has been raging now for almost six years. And would you believe that components used in this tank were made right here in Arizona? We supply the uh, prime contractors of the government uh, for the military aerospace opportunities. We make uh, connectors and specialized electrical devices, I guess, for the military. Paul Ross and Rick Taylor have seen their business boom during the Bush administration, but with President-elect Obama set to enter the White House in January and talk about scaling back defense contracts, they are worried their businesses may take a hit. This company should do well for the next year, but beyond that, it's going to be really tough. But it's not just the defense contracts they are worried about. They're also concerned about Obama's proposed tax plan, a plan that could target their small businesses. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be uh, something I'm going to have to walk through and figure out what the impact is. If my taxes go up, therefore uh, the company's not as well off, therefore the company's not going to grow and we're not going to be hiring. A key to stimulating the economy is creating jobs, something that raising taxes could prevent small business owners from doing. Not hiring means, means uh, you know, less jobs for this local area. Um, so it will have a, a somewhat of a negative effect on the economy. Small businesses will have to wait until next year to understand the full impact of President-elect Obama's tax plan. But all are hoping they will be seeing increased profits and a full staff, not an empty workroom. In Tempe, Matt Pegel, Cronkite Newswatch. For some people, going to spring training isn't just a fun pastime, it's a way of life. I try to come every year, try to take a week off and, and uh, spend it with my son down here. I'm a Cubs fan. My son was drafted uh, back in 2005, number one round draft pick Mark Pollock, left-hander from Springville, Utah. I get a game in, a movie, and out to eat, and then we have to suffer through this whole program tomorrow. But for those who can't take a vacation from work or school, playing hooky may be the only alternative. Jim, where are you supposed to be today? I'm supposed to be in uh, San Ramon, California, working on mortgages, but I'm down here instead. Austin, where are you supposed to be right now? I am supposed to be at school. It's no wonder with the ever-increasing popularity of spring training that more people are saying goodbye to the office or the classroom and saying hello to the ballpark. I think the best part is coming down and seeing the young kids play. And, and for some, knowing you're supposed to be somewhere else is part of the fun. What do you think your teacher would say if she knew you were taking this time off away from school to go to uh, spring training games in Arizona? She'd smack me. And I told him I had some clients, some really important clients down here I needed to visit. And so he understood that. If I was to tell him I was just here to play baseball or to watch baseball, uh, he might reconsider my value to the company. What do you think your boss would say if he knew you were taking time off to go out? Uh... That's my boss right there. <laughs> <laughs> my boss is playing hooky also. <laughs> so if one of your employees or students calls in sick before you look for them at home in bed, perhaps you should try the ballpark instead. In Phoenix, Matt Pegel, Cronkite Newswatch Sports. In the middle of the Sonoran Desert, the last thing you would expect to see is a sheet of ice. But don't tell that to the Coyote Curling Club. The whole uniqueness of it, nobody believes that in Arizona that we have curling. People who come here from other parts of the country just think this is the strangest thing they've ever seen. The Altel Ice Den is home to Arizona's only curling club, the Olympic sport that many call shuffleboard on ice. Well, here in the Valley of the Sun, one thing is certain, there's nothing quite as cool as curling. What's fun is that it's easy to curl when it's 40, uh, 40 degrees inside a skating rink when it's 110 outside. The club features curlers of all skill levels, from beginners to those like Fred Maxey, who are far more experienced. Yep, all right. Yep. Ah! I finished fifth in the Canadian Championships so, so long ago I can't even remember. But for most club members, it's all about curler camaraderie. Well, we're here because we love the game, 
um, and then we and we love hanging out with the people uh, uh, who also curl as well. It's a social thing, right? I mean, it's uh, some of my buddies are out here. It's just very social. Everybody talks about the game and goes and have a beer or two or three, and you know, it's just a lot of fun. And when it seems like temperatures are refusing to fall below triple digits, these curlers believe there's no better way to chill out. In Scottsdale, Matt Pagel, Cronkite News Watch Sports.